the the world might be a really dark place these days, but one of the brighter spots I had this year was I saw both Inside Out and Inside Out 2. And, you know, your character in Inside Out, um, who I believe is just forgetful Paula. It's forget her Paula. Forget yeah. Her Paula, yeah. That's my job is to forget. So one of the things that she does in the uh, first movie is she, her and her colleagues send up um, a jingle like a commercial jingle every couple every every couple days just to kind of like torture uh poor riley because it's like the commercial jingle that she keeps hearing on tv yeah um, do you paula poundstone have any commercial jingles that get stuck in your ear on a daily basis oh constantly <laughs> yeah um, actually, when you even as you're talking, it's funny. The one that comes into my head is not a real commercial jingle. It's from um, Hundred One Dalmatians uh, when the 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 Badens, who have collected all the Dalmatian puppies, and they're supposed to they're supposed to be taking them out to to skin them for Cruella's coats, uh, but instead they're watching television, and uh, they're watching TV, and the television goes to a commercial and it's for a product called canine crunchies and it's canine crunchies can't be beat. Give your dog a happy treat. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, when I do, you know, when I first, I, I, that may have been the first movie I ever saw in my entire life. So really? in all those years, it's, it just yeah. stuck. I still, I still got it. Oh, that's, um, that's I mean, I've seen the movie more than once. Yeah. Since, you know, since then. But uh, there's a point to this. Oh, so Forget Our Paula works. Um, the whole premise of the movies uh, Inside Out uh, 1 and 2 are that uh, it's the the emotions within the kid's brain are are given, um, uh, uh, you know. Uh, Personified into character. Thank you. That's the word I was looking for. And ironically, I couldn't remember it. Um, and uh, so they... They, 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 at different parts, wander to different parts of the brain, and at one point they come to the to the memory part, mm. and each memory is in this very beautiful sort of ball, like a almost a, a little smaller than a bowling ball, maybe. And uh, so, at one point, uh, joy and sadness come to the the area where the forgetting gets done, and uh, me and me and my partner Bobby. Um, Monaghan uh, uh, confess that to one another. Actually, that, voice. I didn't even I didn't even recognize his voice there. That's so that's crazy. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's that, that we that we yeah that we purposely just keep putting the memory of that jingle back <laughs> in. Um, it's funny because I have the worst memory in the world, and so the idea that I'm uh, that it's it's perfect that I'm playing. Um, uh, uh, the the cast, uh, the character that uh, uh, does the forgetting. Um, Both those films are so good. They're they're, they're really good, and they're you know really they're so beautiful films. They're timely. Yeah, uh, they're visually stunning. Yes, uh, it's great animation, really beautiful, but also very timely uh, in terms of um, uh, you know we the 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 whole country is in the midst of a mental health crisis. And it, it's, I saw um, Inside Out 2 uh, probably a couple of weeks ago. And um, there's like a recognition laughter among the audience. I mean, I saw it with a full theater. Um, that recognition laugh where you're like, oh, I do that, or oh, I have that. And I think for, um, in Inside Out 2, they introduced the, emotion of anxiety yes. and uh, and they sort of, you know, explain the difference between fear and anxiety, anxiety yes. being like this fear of something that hasn't yet happened yes. um, and may or may not happen. What I, um, what I particularly it, loved about that is the depiction of anxiety trying to help, like yeah. she thinks that she's helping and she's doing anything but. Right. It, I, it's, it's so like funny. auto. It's like auto correct on the computer. Yes. You know, uh, like thanks. I'll do it myself. <laughs> Thank you. That's so true. That's <laughs> so true. You know, I've been saying lately that the phones have gotten too smart, and they're trying to predict words that I'm not going to say. Yes. Uh, um, 
Yeah. And also, by the way, when my computer or or when I'm typing, right, uh, you know, on the flat thing and it'll write and it'll guess a, a word or or even uh, even worse in an email when it has these replies. Yes. I will. I, I will change my mind about what I was going to say <laughs> so that I don't use their damn reply. Fight, I always fight the system. I, you know, I write, system. I handwrite m m most things. Um, yeah. I, I like to write letters and, uh, you know, I handwrite letters. And in fact, um, my first book, there's nothing in this book that I meant to say. I wrote the whole thing by hand. Um, uh, multiple drafts. Wow. Uh, I, I, there's something about the drag on the pen that I find helpful. I just, I think it's a, a different mental process than using the computer somehow. That's um, work. but you know, I do occasionally cause I, I, as I, as I write a page, if, if I, if I have like one cross out, I, I don't, that's okay. But if there's like two or three, well, I'll start over. Um, but sometimes, you know, when I'm almost finished with something and I write the wrong, I'm about to write a word and I write the wrong letter, I have been guilty of trying to think of a word that starts with that letter that I could use, you know, as opposed to the word that I intended to write. You know what I mean? A synonym. Um, and I, I can't help wondering if the framers did that when they were writing the constitution and was it you know after you've made this hugely flourished uh you know with your quill and it's a messy process and who wants to start all over again so is it possible that they just meant uh, yeah no guns <laughs> <laughs> you know it's it's so funny you bring that up like on your on your podcast you actually um just had a constitutional expert on you had um AJ Jacobs on who is like what I'd probably call a good old fashioned nerd, which is somebody that we need more of lately, you know? Oh yeah. Um, you know, he, he basically lived an entire year um, directly according to the constitution. Um, even in, even in his book, I believe he says uh, that they spelled Pennsylvania wrong on the constitution twice. Oh, but wow. They spell it, they spell it wrong. Uh, or two different ways on the Constitution itself. Um, and it's like, that's, you know, I wonder if they just just brushed over that. You know? Yeah, they were, just, um, yeah they were just like, all right, you know what? I'm not rewriting that thing. I'm not. Uh, <laughs> this is too much work. This is a long page. Yeah. 